Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, we are doing a seven-box hot stove baseball mixer. Random team break number one. We've got another version of this in the store right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So if you missed out on the first time, I wouldn't be surprised if we do another one tonight. So get into it. Great price point, great boxes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven boxes right here. Good. Just want to count it out. There it is. All right. So big thank you to these folks for filling up the break. There's everyone right here, and all teams are in. We're going to randomize each list one and a three, four times. One, two, three, and four. Four times. Joe Fagundis down to Mike Tower after four times. And one and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. After four times, we've got the Padres on top. Giants on the bottom, where they should be. I'm a Dodgers fan, so for those of you who are new here. Um, here are your teams, folks. Joe Fagundis with the San Diego Padres. LA Angels, Los Angeles Angels for Shane. Rob with the Marlins. Callum with the Rays. John Maxwell with the Cubs, who made a big move today. They signed uh, signed you Darvish. Rockies for Rory, Eric with the Diamondbacks, Astros for Rich, Lee Cheeseman with the Rangers, Scott Smith with the Blue Jays. Rich, you have the Pirates. Uh, Jared, you got my Dodgers with your last spot mojo. Karen with the Yankees, Brian with the Mariners, Kip Kip Hooray with his Orioles. Rory with the Tigers, Allen with the Royals, Brian with the Red Sox, A's for Brian. Jeff, you got the White Sox, D Mac with the Reds, Rory with the Cardinals, Mike with the Phillies, Jeff with the uh, Braves, Rich with the Twins, Nationals going to Sean, Brian with the Mets, Brew Crew for Michael. Brian Butts with the Indians and Mike Tower with the Giants. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. All right, so trades are allowed. Uh, Rory saying, hey, Mike, any of his teams for the Brewers? Rory's a big Brewers guy. So trade away, folks. White Sox are available, Rays available, Nationals are available. Oh, Callum, you're back. Um, tell us your, this is appropriate because it's a baseball break, tell us your uh, Aaron Judge story. How did you run into him? Where did you run into him in London town? Thank you, Brandon. So, Mike, any thoughts on the on the on the uh, Brewers offer? Rory has all of his teams available too: Rockies, Tigers, Cardinals. Well, maybe I don't know: Tigers, Rays, Nationals, White Sox. There's people. There, there, there are teams out there. Rays, Tigers. Remember, remember all the prospects that are in here, though, folks. Just, just keep in mind what boxes are in here. Super Jumbo. You got High Tech, Tier 1, Elite X Tradition prospects in here, too. Chronicles, Bowman Chrome prospects as well. So Rockies Rays confirmed. I think Rory says deal. Callum. And Royals for A's maybe says Allen. Otherwise, uh, after after these particular deals, we'll uh, we'll start we'll start the break.
Okay, so actually Callum does not want to move move the raise. Mike F, no, I don't I think Callum's gonna stick with this raise. Rory does want your brewers though. Michael. Rory Rory's a big Brewers fan. He's on he's on a he's on the hunt. So You want the Mariners, Callum? I think Brian C is in the room. If Brian wants to move his Mariners. Alright, Mike F is gonna hold. This is kind of an exciting tra trading window though. Oh, you would only trade for the Rays, gotcha. Oh, different Brian C. Sorry. Not Brian Crouch. Brian Callier. All right. Well, a lot of chatter. No talk. Okay. No, nothing actually happening. All right. I thought, I thought we were going to get close. I thought things were going to happen. All right. Trade window closed. Well, I'm sure this is very exciting for you if you're watching on YouTube. You can always fast forward through the trade windows. All right, here we go, folks. Good luck. So here's the final list. Nothing changed here on the tenth. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. Thanks for making uh, thanks for making us part of your Saturday. Oh, so he was on your, so Callum relating his Aaron Judge story from earlier, he was on, you saw him on your lunch break. He was just looking around. What, what was he doing? Was he just, was he just doing the tourist thing? All right. Uh, let's see. What should, what should we start with? I think we're going to start with this. This is a good way to start the break. Did it, so, so Callum, it's, oh, he was at St. Paul's Cathedral. Did, did he look like he was just doing the, uh, he was doing just the touristy thing? Yeah, Brian Crouch. There's a lot of tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo out there. I love these sausage link packs. And you spoke to him too. Was was he nice? I, I heard that he's a really nice dude. I suppose, yeah. I suppose he'd be, aside from the fact that he's super tall. I suppose he could. He's some. He's relatively anonymous in uh, in London. That's cool. Good luck, everybody. This is, this is a fun mixer. We can run another one, another one of these back if you missed out the first time. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. And Seal Curtain reporting to me that only uh, only the bangle, Bears and Bangles are left in illusions. Great guy. Yeah, you did oh. He signed your notepad. Nice. Well, that notepad is now a few hundred dollars. Uh, no, paper base is not shit. And veteran base probably doesn't ship either. All right. Good luck, everybody. So we'll breeze through this paper. 
There's your chrome, obviously the chrome will ship, the refractors will ship, the inserts will ship, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Roy, Roy's like, that would have been a cooler story if you traded me the Rays. <laughs> Still a cool story. I would have been shocked, though, if you had, if, if, Callum, if you had like a baseball just chilling in your bag. You know what I mean? Your backpack or whatever. You're just like, oh, yeah. And this baseball mysteriously appears. And Aaron Judge is like, you were stalking me. I know you were. Oh, some red. I see some red. That's a good sign. Alec Hansen, blue paper for the white socks. Go Jeff Goldenthal with that. That is out of 150. And we've got Trevor Stefan. One out of five for the Yankees. That is nice. No ink on that, but still cool for Karen and the Yankees. One out of five. There it is. Nice. Red. There you go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! And there's our first autograph, Cole Brandon. Uh, yeah, camera. We'll be able to refund that later tonight. Or tomorrow. Just email us, jazbeeshobby at gmail.com. I can't do it right now, obviously. Uh, 49 out of 150. Cole Brandon for the Red Sox. That goes to Brian uh, to Brian C., Brian Callier. There's two Brians in this. Crouch and Callier? Callier? I like to put a little French spin on it, Brian. All right, next one. Breeze through that paper. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to say it four different ways. I'm not going to remember. I don't remember how I said it the first time. I'll just I'll, I'll after this break, Brian. I'll just call you, and you can just tell me over the phone. I just have to I just have to hear it. All right, we got Gavin Sheets, one seventy five out of two fifty. That goes to the White Sox. Jeff G with that one, and we've got Connor. Uselton, 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 Callier, Callier, I don't know. These names are crazy. That goes to the Pirates. That goes to Rich, Rich Schmidt. That's See, that's a name I can say. Not confused about that name. D.L. Hall, I can say that too. That one's an easy one. Kip Kip Hooray with the refractor auto of D.L. Hall. What does the, does the D and the L stand for? It's 382 out of 499. I say, I say David Logan. That's what I think DL is. David Logan. Oh, it's Dayton Lane? Oh, okay. Well, no wonder he goes by DL. Exactly, Boston Graf. Doesn't want to be on the DL, but he wants to be in the hall. Dayton's not a bad name, actually. We got Juan Soto for the Nats. That'll go to Sean Donovan. Ooh, 
one eighty six out of two fifty. There's Luis Campusano. Campusano, I think. San Diego Padres with that one. That goes to Joe Fagundes. Luis Campusano, which is Espanol for Campusano. Everyone knows that. All right. I don't know how many hits we've had so far, but let's keep them coming. Let's breeze through this paper here. We got Luis Ortiz, 222 out of 499. Luis Ortiz going to the Brew Crew, Michael F. out of 499. And we got some green coming up. Charlie Barnes, 46 out of 99. Oh, and Gavin Sheets, maybe son of Ben Sheets. You guys remember Ben Sheets? Rory, you remember Ben Sheets. White Sox, Gavin Sheets. Oh, that's right. I make this. I say this every time, and then I realize that it's no. It's not a former major leaguer, Larry Sheets. I don't know Larry Sheets. Who knows Larry Sheets? I know Ben Sheets. But the son of Larry Sheets, Rory. Yeah, no one gives a Sheets about Larry. It's good. Yeah, nice. That's a nice one, Rory. I'm sure Larry's a nice guy. I just don't remember you, Larry Sheets. Ben, I do. Some gold shimmer coming up. But first, Freddie Tarnock out of 499 for the Braves. Jeff S. with the Bravos. And. Peter Solomon, gold shimmer. That card is gold. That goes to Rich and the Astros. Eight out of 50 on that one, Rich. Nice. Shiny. And Ryan Vallad for the Rockies. That goes to Rory and the Rocks. There you have it. First box in the books. A lot of nice stuff, a lot of nice parallels, very strong. Got a nice train whistle in here too. I Was it a bonus? I don't even know how many are supposed to be in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six, only five, right? Only supposed to be five. All right. Well, bonus autos. Bonus autos are always great. Uh, let's stay in a Bowman frame of mind. Let's do 2017 Bowman Chrome. So there's two Chrome autos per master box.
So the big news today, ladies and gentlemen, what, what is your reaction on the big news today? Cubs to sign you Darvish. Rays agreeing to sign uh, to terms with Sergio Romo, Romo, Sergio Romo. But the big news of the day, Cubs, six years, $126 million guaranteed and opt out after 2019. What's everyone's reactions? What is that? What's the average annual value on that? 126 divided by six is $21 million a year. $21 million, that's about what I think he was looking for. Yeah, they did lose Arietta to free agency. So they signed Darvish. Brian Callier not happy with that signing. Rory pissed off, should have been a brewer. Well, yeah, does that does that mean Arietta to, to the... Where does Arietta go then? Yeah, we did see that. We saw that news a couple, a uh, few days ago, right? Two or three days ago, Met signing Todd Frazier. Yeah, you Darvish regular season should be pretty good. We'll see how he does in that ballpark. Yeah, you Darvish is pretty solid. There was no way the Dodgers were gonna re I I would have liked the Dodgers to re-sign him, but I don't I don't think that was ever gonna happen. It's a luxury tax stuff just didn't work out, salary stuff didn't work out. Alright. We got Nick Williams, purple chrome. 81 out of 250 for the Phillies. That goes to Mike Coons. Rory saying that the Brewers' offer was in the same ballpark. He just went with Chicago instead. Tyler O'Neill. Tyler Glass now, a refractor to 499. Well, hopefully with this with this uh, U Darvish signing, hopefully that'll knock down some dominoes and start kicking off uh, the rest of the off season. Basically, even though we're close to pitchers and catchers reporting, kick off the off season and start to see um, some more free agents get signed. There's Albert Abreu for Karen and the Yankees. Nice, not numbered, but an auto nonetheless. On the other side. We've got Jorge Mateo for the Yankees. That's just a parallel but not numbered. There's Anthony Rizzo who has a new teammate. We got Franklin Perez, 320 out of 499 for Rich and the Astros. And the autograph is Luis uh, Arias. Arias? Arias. Luis A. Going to Rich and the Twins. There you go, Rich. All right, next Chrome box. Good luck, everybody. So apparently, according to MLBTradeRumors.com and their reporting, um, when the offseason began in November, Darvish wasn't really on Chicago's radar. Actually, uh, Shadev Sharma of The Athletic is reporting that on Twitter. However, it seems the Cubs benefited from this winter's slow-moving free agent market, in this case, as it helped lead the lower-than-expected price tag for Darvish. And a major splash for the North Sider. Darvish went into the winter as seeking a an accord along the lines of Steven Strasburg. So he was looking for, Darvis was looking for close to seven years, $175 million. Or new teammates, uh, John Lester, six years, $155 million, but it didn't happen. Other notes coming from this deal. 
while there's been a well-known fondness, according to MLBTradeRumors.com and their newspaper reporting, uh, while there's a well-known fond fondness between the Dar uh, between Darvish and the Rangers, with whom he has spent the majority of his career, Texas is not even close to landing him. Jeff Wilson of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram hears. Evan Grant of the Dallas Morning News adds that Texas did not uh, didn't even make an offer to Darvish. So there you go. The Rangers do have a glaring need for a front-end star, but they're not close enough to con uh, close enough to contention to splurge on one. Grant writes. Well, there we go. The Dodgers, my Dodgers, Darvish's other ex-team made him an offer, but it fell short of the Cubs' offer. I don't think the Dodgers were going to offer him very much. Oh, interesting. Uh, there's con conflicting reports, but John Heyman of the of FanRag tweeting out that L.A. was, quote, said to have offered in the same ballpark as Chicago. But I think that would have taken them over the luxury tax, and I don't think that was actually going to happen. Likewise, tax concerns in the way of Yankees uh, of a Yankee Darvish union. And the next box. There's some more news that we'll go through. There's Jorge Ona. 49 out of 150. Looks like the football mixer is in single digits. Nice. Yeah, he's in this set, Gavin. Good eye. I guess. Um, small market twins aggressively went after Darvish. There's Giancarlo Stanton. Nice. At a 499 for the Marlins. Rob Shell with the Marlins edition. Twins' offer was uh, five year, at least five years and 100 million. There's Braden Bishop. A couple other cards behind there. Braden Bishop going to the Mariners. That's for Brian. On this side, we've got Manny Margot at a 250. The Padres are quietly building a really nice young core down there in sunny San Diego, Joe Fagundes. Manny Margot is a big part of that. 25 out of 250. There's Trevor Clifton, a purple shimmer. Sam Travis, some other ones here. Should be one more autograph in here. There's Max Freed out of 499. And it's Gage Hines. Gage Hines for the Pirates and Rich. Rich having a nice mixer thus far. And that's out of 150. 71 out of 150. Nice. We'll save that Aaron Judge rookie card too. Uh, the Bre Upstart Brewers were also part of the Dervish Derby. And the belief that they also submitted a pro proposal of at least five years and a hundred million dollars. Heyman also tweets. However, however, Rosenthal hears that Milwaukee's offer was not as competitive as reports indicated. Oh. Furthermore, Rosenthal suggests that the Brewers may have been primarily been in the running just to drive up the price for NL Central rival Cubs. Regardless, with Darvish now out of the mix, Odorizzi and the Athletics' Jarrell Cotton are also trade possibilities for the Brew Crew, according to Trevor Rosenthal. Oh, there you go. So that's that's what uh, that's the information that MLBTradeRumors.com has collected. Here, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Surprising, surprising how how quiet everything was while all of this was going on. You know. All right. Uh, what should we do next? I say we do Chronicles next, folks. Our last break of Chronicles is in the store right now. JaspiesHobbyland.com Our last four box break of Chronicles. Gavin is feeling a boom in the high tech box but then you're walking it back? Don't walk it back Gavin. Be confident about that. Then he goes oh it doesn't have to be a boom. Just a nice box. Not like a blow out of water box, but a nice box. No. Why, uh, 
Why not just say it's going to be a boom? Stick with it. Can't have it both ways. It's either a boom or it's not. That's what I say. You're hedging. Don't hedge. All right, good luck, folks. Remember, like I said, fourteen ninety nine a spot. Fourteen ninety nine a spot in a four box break of Chronicles baseball. That's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. There you go. Bryant says definitely a boom. Going to be a judge in Chronicles, says Tyler. That would make Karen very happy. There's Adam Frazier to 199. There is Mike Moustakis out of 199. Chris Archer. Paul DeYoung. And 79 out of 269, Francisco Lindor. And what's this? Why is this the other way around? It's just Garrett Cole to 999. Still Pirates Edition in this set, obviously. Jacoby Jones. Herman Marquez to 499. At a 999, Marcel Ozuna. And there's Mitch Hanniger to 199. Nice. That goes to the Mariners and Brian. This way. There you go. 28 out of 199 on that, Brian. And we have Ahmed Rosario. 4 out of 25. Nice. That goes to the Metropolitans. That'll be for Brian Crouch. Nice, Brian. A lot of nice stuff in this Chronicles, folks. And it's a it's a very much a low risk, high reward sort of break. Bo Jackson at three ninety nine. So we've got a four box random team break of this. Let's knock that out. Joe Mauer to nine ninety nine. And we got Anthony Alford for the Blue Jays. Nice Anthony Alford. Scott Smith with the Blue Jays. And then we've got nice triple threat, Tyler Glass now. Neon blue. I like the Spectra look in this. I hope they I hope they do Spectra baseball. That would be pretty sick. Looks like they're going to. 90 out of 99 on that one for the Pirates. He's probably the front line starter now for the Pirates. Now that Garrett Cole is gone. That's for Rich and the Pirates. All right, uh, Mike F. Any plans on breaking any more Bowman Chrome cases? No, no plans on that. But they are in our baseball mixer. We've got another one on the site right now. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Elite Extra Edition. Eight autographs and two memorabilia cards per box on average. So there's a there's a lot in here, mostly prospects. Um. If I remember correctly, there are like international players and college players. The college players uh, will go to the team that they are currently on. The international players will be randomized as a lot to everyone in the break, to one person in the break. We'll do a randomizer with everyone included. Same with the, uh, same with like the perfect game cards or whatever. Those will be separate as well. Now. Oh. Any points that we get, well, it's going to be just this. That points will be randomized to someone. There's Jeffrey Diaz International, so th this will be randomized. There's Mike Bauman at a 9.99 for the Baltimore Orioles. That's for Kip. 
I don't know which way, which direction these go. Okay, we're gonna start with this. Victor Robles to 149. Nationals, Sean with that one. One of their up and coming prospects. Your autograph is Toronto's Hagen Daner. Nice on card autograph. That's a nice auto, too. It's a really nice auto. Scott Smith with the Blue Jays. Ah, oh, he's from Huntington Beach. Out of 100, Brendan Little. David Garcia to 999. Spencer Howard to 999, Philadelphia. Future Threads, 12 out of 49. Dominic Smith, Silhouettes, Relic. That'll go to the Mets, Brian Crouch. Will Gaddis, 007 out of 180, Aspirations autograph. 007. That goes to Rory with the Rockies. There you go, Rory. This will go here. There's Hagen again out of 200. I don't remember all of these cards being numbered, but maybe they are. Out of 999. Franklin Baez, that'll be an international car. That'll be randomized as a lot. Matt Tabor out of 999 for the Diamondbacks. And Stanley Castillo out of 150. Another international. Jose Miguel Fernandez out of 999. Goes to the Dodgers. Jaime Berea, that goes to the Angels. You can tell because that, that one was blue. This one is red. This is a nice autograph right here. Mackenzie Gore. On-card auto of Mackenzie Gore, who I believe is a top five pick in the 2017 draft. San Diego Padres, Joe Fagundes with that one. Number four, I think. Oh, does it say? No, third overall. Even better. So that's a nice autograph right there. Kevin Merrill for the A's. Another nice one out of 100. That goes to Brian Crouch and the A's. There's Shed Long for the Reds. Jonah Todd autograph. Jonah Todd Auto for Los Angeles Angels, it says. Actually, I should mark this one. Be easier for the shipping team. Nice. We got a Team USA card. 81 out of 99 silhouette autographs. Johnny Aiello. Let's see if he has been drafted yet. A lot of times, no. A lot of times, these might just be just college kids, but let me double check. No, I think he's still at Wake Forest. Yeah, he's still at Wake Forest. So we'll randomize this separately as well. Actually, these go here. Out of 999. Luis Almanzar out of 999. KJ Harrison out of 999. Adrian Morajon, die cut, 3 out of 99. And Brent Rooker, autograph for the Twins. Uh, Joe P, are you in the, you're not in this mixer, are you? No, you should be in here somewhere. Why isn't your name on here?
Your name's got to be here somewhere. Um, yeah, let's figure that out afterwards. I might have put in someone else's name for your name. So you you might have you might have a team. I'll 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 look it up afterwards cuz I see that you bought a spot. All right, that goes to the Twins. I'm almost done anyway. That goes to the Twins. Uh, that'll be for Rich with the Twins. All right. Let's get myself organized here. So these will be randomizers at the end. And we'll close out with high tech. We'll close out with high tech. <laughs> I know. It's always screwing Joe P over. No, I'm sure I the, I'm sure someone on this list isn't supposed to be here. Oh man, how many beers is it gonna be by the time I by the time next week comes around, Joe P and I when I'm in Arizona? I'll owe you a beer next week for this, and then I'm sure there'll be other transgressions that I'll make throughout the week. You got skunked, blah 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 blah. 107 out of 299, Carlos Delgado, Prime Performers autograph. That's pretty cool. When's the last time you've seen a Carlos Delgado autograph? All right, that goes to the Blue Jays. That'll be for Scott Smith. We've got Colton Wong to 299 for the Cardinals. That'll go to Rory and the Redbirds. And Dallas Keuchel out of 199 game used memorabilia for Rich and the Astros. All right, and the last box, 2017 High Tech Baseball. Good luck. Tyler Glass now, five out of ten. Nice one for the Pirates. Pirates is rich. Rich is having a hell of a break. Nice Tyler Glass now. Mikhail Franco to two fifty for the Phillies. That'll be for Mike Koontz. More Phillies. Bobby Abreu. Four out of 75, Bobby Abreu, Blue Rainbow. Mike Koontz with the Phillies. Sandy Koufax, 38 out of 99, Green Rainbow. That goes to my Dodgers, Jared with that one. And I think this is a case hit. Yep, out of 15, 15 out of 15, Ian Happ. What's the haps for John Maxwell and the Cubs? Nice. Then we got some of those blackout cards that look really cool. Bryce Harper and then our autograph, two of them. We got Carlos Carrasco, 28 out of 50. That goes to the tribe. That goes to Brian Bunce. Nice. Put that right there, and the next one is for for Rory and the Rockies, Rymel Tapia. We got some short prints, Buster Posey. I think that's it, folks. Some randomizers here at the end. We got Buster Posey. There's Rymel Tapia. We got a nice short print there for Rory. Shorter print. I think these might be one of the shorter of prints, Rory. And the rest, all cards ship will ship in uh, high tech, just because of all the uniqueness of the of the different patterns. Some of these may be short printed or not, so it's easier for us to just send them on to you. And there you have it, folks. Uh, some randomizers to do. So here's how we'll do this. Um, I think they came out in this order right here. So 
let's go back to random.org. Let's gather everyone's names. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make it easier. So this is obviously the best one here. It's Jersey and Auto. This is still a college player. That will be to the top, the first person in the randomizer. These international cards will be for the second person in the randomizer, and the points will be for the third person in the randomizer. All right, so let's go back to the list. There's a list from Eric down to Sean. Let's roll the dice. Four and a four, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Joe Fagundes. You've got the bonus Jersey Auto. Hopefully he becomes a major leaguer. Hold on to that one. Jeff with the international player cards right here. And Alan, you have the 150 points. And there you have it, folks. Uh, that was the seven box hot stove. Baseball makes a random team break number one. We've got another one in the store. Pretty solid price point and potential for pretty monster hits. So check it out on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.